Donuts Breakfast of Champions. A typical donut contains 2 grams of uh, protein. This is grams. Uh, 17 grams of carbohydrates and 7 grams of fat. Average food energy values are 4 kilocalories per gram for protein and carbohydrates. Uh, so it's the same for protein and carbohydrates and 9 kilocalories per gram for fat. Part A. During heavy exercise, an average person uses energy at a rate of 510 kilocalories per hour. How long would you have to exercise to work off one donut? Part B. If the energy in the donut could somehow be converted into the kinetic energy of your body as a whole, how fast could you move after eating the donut? Take your mass to be 60 kilograms and express your answer in meters per second and kilometers per hour. So let's find uh, the total amount of uh, energy a donut can provide. So that's Q total. Because we have 2.0 grams of protein and 4 kilocalories per gram of protein. And 17 grams of carbohydrates, 4 kilocalories per gram of carbohydrates. And 7 grams of fat with 9 kilocalories per gram. We obtain a total uh, calorie of 139 kilocalories which is 139 food calories by the way so in part a uh, we're going to spend 510 kilocalories per hour so the total amount of energy that we would like to spend is uh, 139 kilocalories with 510 kilocalories per hour uh, this is the rate of energy loss uh, in the gym times x equals to 139 kilocalories we obtain x to be 139 divided by 510 hours which is 139 divided by 510 times 60 minutes so we obtain x is equal to 16.352 minutes which can be rounded to 16.4 minutes so we have to do 16.4 minutes exercise to work off one donut part b now we're going to uh, have this energy totally converted to kinetic energy so 139 times 10 to 3 calories now in order to convert to kinetic energy i have to find the mechanical equivalent of this energy one calorie is 4.186 joules therefore the mechanical equivalent of this energy is 139 times 4.186 times 10 to 3 joules which is uh, 581,854 joules and this is equal to the amount of kinetic energy we're going to have by running right after eating the donut so this will give us uh, V is equal to uh, 2 times 581,854 joules divided by 60 kilograms that's the mass we're assuming square root of this and this will be um, 2 times 581,000 854 divided by uh, 60 square root uh, this is in meters per second a meter is 10 to minus 3 kilometers 
and we have uh, an uh, a second equals one over three thousand six hundred hours because one hour has sixty minutes sixty seconds so we have the conversion one hour is sixty minutes which is thirty six hundred seconds so this gives us v is equal to 139 meters per second or in kilometers per hour 501 kilometers per hour all right that's quite a large uh, speed so we're talking about uh, working of a donut knowing that a donut contains 2 grams of protein, 17 grams carbohydrates, 7 grams fat and calorie values per gram for each uh, food component, we can calculate the total uh, calorie uh, included in a donut, 139 food calories. Uh, to, if we have a heavy exercise, we spend energy at a rate of 510 kilocalories per hour. So to work of one donut, uh, we, we have to work X hours to get a 139. So X is 139 over 510 hours or uh, 139 over 510 times 60 minutes, which is 16.4 minutes. So we need 16.4 minutes of heavy exercise. If we somehow can convert this energy to kinetic energy as a whole, how fast can we move right after eating the donut for a 60 kilogram person? Uh, so this energy must be converted to mechanical equivalent. 4.186 joules is one calorie. So with that, uh, this energy, mechanical energy is equal to one half mv square. So uh, we can obtain v in meters per second or if we multiply it by 10 to minus 3 because a meter is 10 to minus 3 kilometers per second, a second is 1 over 3600 hours, we obtain 501 kilo kilometers per hour.